Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about the difference between row ID and row num in Oracle database. So, row ID pseudo columns return the address of the row. So, it returns the address of the row and the value has a num alphanumeric. And about the row num, so row num or pseudo columns return the number. So, add here, let's use EMP or table. And after I am going to show you the query. Then you can uh, 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 figure out the, the difference between row ID and row num. So first I am going to use row ID at here. Next is row num. And here after I am selecting few columns from the EMP table. So next is EMP number. Here after E name. And here after let's skip from EMP. So if you execute the query. So see at here, it's a row ID. So row ID value has the combination of alphanumeric. So at here, character here, number a small letter. And here, here MP. So here after, let's skip at here, comma. So row number did, uh, didn't generate it. So let's execute one more time. So this time it's a row number generated. I forget the comma at here. So see at here row number row ID is the combination of alphanumeric or at your character with the number and your row number. So it's a num numeric value. So no numeric value that start from one and that will continue. So at your total numbers of four rows are 14. So that at here it's a row number it's created in 14. So it's a sequence order. And there are no any gap between numbers. And here row number must be unique. And row ID and row number must be unique. But the key difference is it holds the address and it has the number. And here after it has the combination of alphanumeric and it's the or row number only values is number, numeric values. So this is the difference at here. Now let's use the row ID and row num. So at here, going to use select a star from EMP. And you have to writing where clause. So row now less than equal to 10. So first I'm going to select all the columns from EMP table. And here, so total numbers of oh, at here, rows are 14. So by using row now functions, you, you can easily filter. Or uh, if you want to display only uh, 10 or uh, row from 1 to 10 row, so by using uh, this query you can filter it out. So see at here it's uh, only displaying 1 to 10 we count. And here in place of uh, uh, row now, let's enter row ID. So here let's execute. So at here I'm getting the error message. So inconsistent data type. So expect row id got number so at here because at here so at here row id has the combination of these values alphanumeric so when our row id trying to match so this value is trying to match with or 10 so at here it's not equal so that here it's not filter so here that so that here i'm getting the error but if you give at here row num and if you execute here so that check 1 less than equal to 10 that's true 2 less than equal to 10 or that's true 3 less than equal to 10 so 10 less than equal to 10 that's true so that here it's a displaying or total numbers of rows are 10 so these are the things when you are going to use any joining operation any filter operation or here you can or if you want to delete the row, ID, or row number or add here or 9 so by using row num function you can easily do that but here or row id with the, so it holds the address and it has the alpha numeric values so by using row id so it will give the error so this is the things about row num and row id in my oracle database so i hope this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you